Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and if you're new here, welcome and if you're returning, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So today I'll be doing an Ulta haul and first impressions. I um, went the other day and I picked up some items that I've been wanting to try and some that just caught my attention at the moment. So I'm really excited to try them on on camera and let you guys know what I think of them. So I'm starting off with the Milani Fruit Fetish Dragon Fruit Peach Scented Setting Spray. I got this one because I've never had a fruit scented setting spray. Honestly, I do try to avoid setting sprays because I don't like how they make my face feel. To me, it makes me feel really icky. And yeah, who wants to feel icky? So it smells good. It's honestly, the scent is not that strong. It does smell fruity, but it's not strong, like I said. Okay, so I probably have had it for like 30 seconds. <laughs> and it doesn't feel icky, so I like it. I recommend it. Summer's coming up. It's spring. Go get you one. And also, they have two other scents other than this one. Um, yeah, they have choices. Go get one. So next, I have an item that I have been dying to try, which is the NYX Brow Glue. So I did see that Anastasia did come out with a brow glue, but it's a lot of money, <laughs> at least for my budget. Um, so, so yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna invest in it just yet. Here it is. It's really small. So let's see. Let's see. If I can even get my brows to stay up. Also, I have to trim my brows because the hairs grow long. But you see, you see this? They just go down as soon as I freaking, oh, oh my gosh, and I trim them. Maybe, I don't know if I'm doing this wrong. I've never, well, I haven't tried recently. I'm gonna trim Ew. I'm sure you guys can tell how disappointed I am. But the product is not the issue, it's my brows. Oh my god. Do you guys see this mess? Is this how they're supposed to look? Or is it just me not used to seeing my brows this way? So to me, it looks weird. I don't know. Let me just do the other one and I'm gonna fill them, fill them in and see. Do you guys see this mess? Okay. They look so un- Okay, clearly. I need to get my brows on. But I've been trying to grow them out so they be can become fuller and more even. But they're struggling. Okay, so I don't have a new product for my brows to fill them in. So I'll just use something that I barely use, which is my Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil. Um, this is a shade dark brown. I'm not good at this either, so. Okay, this is a big no. The product is good. It's just not for me. This is so bad. I'm gonna take them off off camera. I'm gonna do them the way that I always do. 
and yeah maybe i just keep practicing and see if i can figure out my brows i did not need this at all but it just looks so pretty so i just had to get it i won't be buying one another one anytime soon i hope anyways oh my goodness look how pretty So I'm just priming them with my regular concealer because I didn't buy any new concealer. I have so many. Honestly, that's one item I really didn't need at all. Now that I have my eyelids primed and it looks super crazy right now, but I'm going to go in with this one as a base, the Alfresco. Okay. I'm gonna do pink. Why not? Why not? Okay. I made up my mind. I'm gonna go in with this color. It's the hibiscus. It's the hibiscus blossoms shade. I'm gonna apply that on my. Um, I'll probably go with this one for the top, which is the Love Struck shade. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye because knowing me, I'm gonna forget every single step I do. I'm a very forgetful person. It's so bad. My daughter, I have a four-year-old. Her name is Mia. And she usually asks me questions. She's like, Mommy, do you remember this? Do you remember that? And sadly, 90% of the time, I'm like, no, I don't remember what you're talking about. And I feel so bad. And then she's just like, Mom, oh my God, you forget everything. And I'm like, you're not wrong. I really do and I feel bad so I need to get better at that I think I'll go in with this one the picture perfect shade I don't know if I'm gonna do a darker color. Maybe I'll go in with this one. I took a dark purple, the Vineyard Escape.
out of glitter. I'm leaning towards coastline cruise or reef dive. I don't know. I'm gonna do the coastline cruise, which is a lighter one. So that's okay. Okay, so also this is another item I did not go for, but I did want to try it out. It's a it's a Revolution Super Dewy Skin El Elixir Makeup Serum. Probably butchered that name, but I have no idea how to say it. Cute. Packaging is really pretty. It's like a pink, orangey, rose color. I'm just gonna use this a little bit. Oh. This feels sticky. Like a gel. Like a sticky gel. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So for foundation. I, okay, I got this from TJ Maxx, but I've been wanting to try it. It's the Beauty Blender Foundation. Okay, so the next item is actually from TJ Maxx. It's a Beauty Blender Foundation. I've been wanting to try this out. Also, please don't judge me if I do not match myself well. You know, TJ Maxx are very limited when it comes to their makeup and their shades. So, we'll see... If I did good. <laughs> I got this shade Blend 3.30. I don't use so much foundation, so. I don't think I did that bad. Oh my gosh. What? probably between light and medium coverage. I wouldn't say it's um, full. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And it matched so well. I'm so excited. And then for concealer, I didn't get a new concealer, so I'm just going to go back in with my Tarte concealer, the one I usually wear. Okay, so for setting powder, I got the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. I've never used it, but I've heard of very good things, which is the reason why I purchased it. So let's see.
so I like it for under my eyes but for everything else I think I'm gonna stick to a different one um, it does give it a kind of a, like a pinkish glow to it I think that's why I don't like it for anywhere else I think it looks okay under my eyes okay so before I'm I apply my lashes I am going to apply um, I should have done here I just um, use this color so I can just bring it down okay, so the lashes that I did get are my favorite from the brand kiss the Russian volume so pretty they look so nice and I love I love these more whenever I have like a bold or a bright um, eyeshadow look. So this trick I actually learned from watching one of um, this other influencer's videos and his name is Lee Castro. I don't know if anybody else watches him, but anyways, I got this, this tip from him. Whenever he applies his lashes, he puts it on the band of course but also puts it like where you'll be applying the lash on your eyelid puts glue on that part too it helps the lash to apply faster like as if it's like guiding it and knowing where it's supposed to go kind of like a magnet For it to dry a little bit um i just like to bend it so it's so it applies easier okay let's see you see how easy that was honestly i remember i used to struggle so much putting on lashes let me know in the comments below if you guys tried this little trick and how it works for you guys. Okay, so now I'm just gonna push my lash together against the falsies. So I did just stock up on clear gloss from e.l.f. and I also got the lifted gloss from Maybelline. So excited. I think I might try it out, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep it on. These um, lip liners from NYX. I got the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liners in the shade Club Hopper, London, and Girl Buy. This one's a brown, a nude, and like a burgundy color. And yeah, these are amazing. They glide on so nicely. looks okay looks very natural okay I might add a darker color in depending on how it looks with this gloss but anyways I got the shade topaz so I'm excited to try this like it with this eye makeup oh this is even look brown Honestly, 
I like it more than the other card that I had. Honestly, I would say that my favorite thing was the eyeshadow palette. Oh, and the setting spray. So if you guys want to go buy something, get the setting spray, get the eyeshadow palette, and get this lip gloss. Really pretty. Alright guys, you have made it to the end of the video. I am done with my Ulta haul and my first impressions. Before you go, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments below if you guys end up trying out any of these items and what do you guys think of them. Bye!